Hi, I'm Kirsten on the Ryzen Lab team and today I want to show uh, a cool little script as an example of what's to come in regards to the script library. This little cot automation script came about because like many of you guys I spend my fair time UV mapping either on personal assets or stock assets. If I'm low on time for renders or artwork on the Rhythm site or my own freelancing I really do want things to go faster and one of them is uh, you know some of the repetitive tasks that you sometimes have to do because no matter how awesome the also seams function is you sometimes still need to cut seams by hand which is the process from you know you select an edge you select similar seams with alt C you hit C you change to F4 for island mode hit control M to select similar islands maybe a G for group and then you hit U to unwrap and P to pack so I asked Remy, my boss, if he could help me with a Lua script I wanted to write for this and he just went, oh, I'll do it, give me a few. And then, boom, new shiny script to play with. Let me start by setting up my uh, scene. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to load the script, which you do from the script panel, click scripts. And if you mouse over, you will always see which script is loaded. So the upper part show you what's loaded and it will also trigger the script and the lower part is where you load the script. I am also going to load a custom UV grid because I like colourful UV grids so I made myself some which uh, by the way are available on the Ryzen Lab website and also in our Discord. Uh, the reason for also loading it is that I wanted to show you something because we have gotten questions about this. So one of the, the new features from the last half year is that you can show either flat or unflat mesh. And what that sometimes entails is that if you have this on by default, it will show as black because nothing has been flattened yet. So if you show the non-flat mesh, that's the 3D button here, it will show black. If you show flat, it will be completely blank because nothing has been flattened yet. So you can also show both, which I'm doing here. So just as a reminder, there is nothing wrong with your normals. There is nothing wrong uh, with your mesh. It's just not flat and right now it's displayed as black. Okay, going back. So next I am going to show you a standard workflow with auto seams and I'm going to start with the blades here. So I'm going to hit F4 to change to island mode. Um, then you typically press Control M to select similar islands but Camtasia apparently has a similar control so I am pressing the select similar island button up here. Then I'm going to hit G to group them, I'm going to hit I to isolate them, F2 to go back to edge mode, and simple geometry like this. Um, sometimes you actually can get away with just using uh, a simple pelt cut because it doesn't need many edges. So check your edges and boom. So that's a shiny example of where. Uh, an automated set of cuts is perfect because uh, I would cut it the same way myself. Uh, I'm going to hit Y to bring everything back and I'm going to show you now why sometimes you need to do manual cuts instead. So I'm going to take a geometry like this, the, the triangle bit here. I am going to hit F4 again to isolate it. Okay, isolating it going to hit G to group it, again, I need to isolate it, and I'm going to hit F2 again, and I'm going to show you how the different algorithms would cut the seam. Now the, the, item with the, the issue with an algorithm is that it will always select the best path, but the best path is not always the best path for texturing, which is why I uh, have this script which cuts based on your cuts. So if I go pelt, it will go here. If I select mosaic, I'll almost get it right, but not quite. 
if I hit the, the heart edge it will also select but with with cuts like this uh, and you can always decrease the cuts um, it will actually just um, make everything a whole mess uh, not a whole mess but a whole lot of loose islands and you don't want that so nope and this is a box on map again same kind of cuts this won't do much because it's got link holes and same there so what I'm going to do instead I'm going to hit Y just to show that you can actually run it with other mesh presence. I'm also going to just quickly deselect it. I'm going to go back to F2. Select. Select. Then you take this edge. Now I'm going to remove that edge for a better unwrap. Same here. And now I'm going to run the script. As you can see, it's selected it, it's grouping them, and bam! Instant perfect unwrap based on your cuts, and as you can also see, it's really, really flat. So if you want to improve, if you want to stack these, uh, you just select one, then you hit Alt G. If you want to straighten them for Oops, sorry, extra OCD goodness. You click that button and then you just pretty much move it out of the way. Uh, I'm holding space in the middle mouse button. Next, I am going to show you some simple troubleshooting. Because um, sometimes the script does get a little enthusiastic and I thought I'd show you how to, how to fix that. So I'm just going to isolate this one for just to make sure that I get a good cut. Um, when it comes to cylinders I usually um, prefer to cut like this, well not like that, but like this and also here and I like to keep the, the cap attached, uh, but then Ben McDougall, who's been working on um, stuff for theory animation and also Barnstorm, uh, when I showed him how I unwrapped, he pointed out that if you're doing VFX, uh, keeping the cap can actually have uh, cause you issues in substance, because if you use a particle system if to simulate drips or, you know, blood, anything that runs down, uh, having the cap can actually mess with uh, the direction of uh, the particles. So if you're just doing normal um, texturing, then it can stay on. If you're going to use particle systems uh, when you're texturing, you may want to do the full cut. So I just made sure that I got my cut right. I'm going to hit Y to take it out of isolation. I'm still in edge mode. I'm just rotating just a seam. So, and I'm going to show you what the problem is. Uh, sometimes when the script runs, it just gets a little too enthusiastic. So it unwraps more than it should. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. Well, not fix, but work around that. As you can see, it's just taken too much mess mesh. So undo is, especially if you have a lot of islands, is not going is going to stop at some point. So I am going to select everything here, and I'm going to hit W to weld it. Then I am going to just hit the unflatten button to reset everything. And the fix for this is actually quite easy. 
you just again hit similar islands you group and isolate them you then just pretty much repeat your cuts pressing shift control to deselect an edge and I'm also deselecting that edge and then you just run the script again we are working on undo scripts and also to uh, increase uh, our script library or you know enlarge our script library whatever uh, and there's more stuff like this to come in the future so I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough and I'll see you next time when we have a new feature to present